Hello, everyone. This is Fox 12 Now. I'm Greg Nibbler. Uh, thank you for joining us. I'm coming to you now with breaking news regarding an investigation in St. Helens regarding a St. Helens police investigation into a middle school teacher there regarding criminal activity with students. Uh, we don't have any further information uh, surrounding that at this time, but we wanted to get that to you. And for those of you who have not been following along with what's been happening in that city, I do want to play a recap of some of the other investigations that have been happening regarding high school, uh, regarding the high school. So let's go ahead and do this right now. It has been going on for two months. During the course of the investigation, one of the men was actually still working as a teacher at St. Helens High School despite the known allegations against him. Understandably, after learning this, some St. Helens High School parents in complete shock and disbelief. Even though both men are now in custody, one mom we spoke with said her daughter was in one of the suspect's classes. And because of safety concerns, she will not be sending her daughter to school today. Why wasn't this teacher removed two months ago when the allegations were known? It just made me sick to my stomach knowing that I put my daughter in the hands of these uh, people that were supposed to be trusted with children. Just yesterday, St. Helens officers arrested one current and one former St. Helens High School teacher on sexual abuse charges. St. Helens PD says the two suspects are 46-year-old Eric Stearns and 64-year-old retired teacher Mark Collins. Stearns is listed on the St. Helens High School website as a music history teacher. The detailed indictment for Stearns reveals eight sexual abuse charges for alleged events happening between 2015 and this year, 2024. Seven out of the eight of those charges allege that Stearns inappropriately touched underage girls. As for Mark Collins, the former St. Helens High School teacher, he faces three sexual abuse charges from alleged events stemming from 2017 to 2023. The charges allege that Collins touched underage girls and also tried to get a minor to touch him. Parents we spoke with say they were notified of the arrest from a school email, saying in part, at St. Helens School District, providing a safe, supportive environment for our students and staff is our highest priority. As the investigation continues, St. Helens PD says there could still be more victims. There is a St. Helens board meeting scheduled for this evening at 6.30. We are expecting quite a few parents the show to get some questions answered regarding yesterday's arrest. Mackenzie Richmond, Good Day Oregon. All right, again, that was Mackenzie Richmond who was out there uh, reporting on that at the very beginning of all of these investigations. And if you are just joining, uh, just to recap for you, currently today we received this information that the St. Helens Police are investigating a middle school teacher for alleged criminal activity involving students. So that's in addition to what you were just watching. Uh, going to one other story, though, from earlier this week when St. Helens did resume school at the high school, resume classes. Uh, we had our own Spencer shot out there. And so this is just a little... <laughs> From the outside, St. Helens High School looks like it's back to business as usual, but inside. It's very awkward. It's, it feels super forced. I think it was very insincere. Tara, Jack, and Gabe are all seniors, and they were all in Eric Stern's choir and music history class. But <laughs> after last week's protests, they say going back to the classroom doesn't feel fully planned out. Our third period, we're both supposed to be in his music history today. And from my understanding, I think they just have the classroom closed. Instead of regular classes today, these students say there are a lot of craft tables and counseling services. I was upset today and they kind of just sent me to like the back gym to talk to like some counselors. It feels super forced. Like they, uh, like they've just been like, let's do arts and crafts and blah, blah, blah. And when asked how they feel about the principal and superintendent being placed on administrative leave, it's mixed emotions. I was very happy because it showed that our protests have been doing something, but they're still not out yet. Like we, we want them to be gone, especially the superintendent because of what he did. He, he's done this twice now where he's known about possible predator and let them stay in school. It's good that they're taking the steps, but it's really frustrating that they're still in the school, still there. Like, Stern still hasn't been fired yet. They're still being they're paid. They're still being paid. It's like a vacation. Now, without a choir director or an obvious replacement, these students are left guessing. We don't really know what we're going to do with our concerts because we have two coming up and we're left in the dark with it. We very well just might not have them. All right, we have a lot more information for you at kptv.com about the investigations that were already going on. But again, for this current investigation uh, that we just found out about that you're seeing there at the bottom of the screen, just to recap one more time, St. Helens police detectives are investigating a middle school teacher there regarding crim potential criminal activity involving children. So we'll get you more as soon as we know. That's where we're at right now. Follow along at kptv.com for any information that we have. If more breaking news comes out, I will bring it to you right here on Fox 12 Now.
uh, ahead of our 4 p.m. Uh, newscasts. Thanks for joining. This is Fox 12 Now.